What's up everyone? Kuru here from My Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And in this video, we're going to talk about footwork. This is a topic that we get a lot of requests about. A lot of people want to improve their footwork. They don't really know where to start. Um, this is going to be a short video. I unfortunately haven't had the time to go on court and shoot as much uh, footage as I wanted to. There's a lot going on in my life right now. <laughs> no, it's been a very busy couple weeks. So time hasn't been on my side. But what I'm gonna do today is use some older footage from when I played with top 100 player Marcos Giron. Uh, if you wanna watch that, I'll link it down below. It's a really cool video. But Marcos is someone who has impeccable footwork. His footwork is amazing. There's a lot of things you can learn just from watching him hit the ball, his movement, his base, um, how he gets to the ball, how he recovers, uh, back to the middle, split steps, all those things that you might be struggling with one of them, uh, you might be struggle, struggling with all of them, uh, but footwork, it is like, kind of like a chain of events. If you miss time, let's say the split step, you might struggle getting to the ball in the right time. So um, what I'll do is I'll use the footage of us hitting um, and I'm going to talk and point out the things that I think you can replicate. Um, I think it's very important to emulate good players. They, they're good because they, they do the right things and footwork is typically a constant. Most players have similar footworks with the split step, with the wide base, uh, with the cross step to recover to the middle, all those things that um, are basic but some, some, some players are never taught some players um, just struggle with. And before we begin, thank you very much for everyone who subscribed recently and all of our old, older subscribers. We broke 20,000 a couple days ago and it's crazy to think that uh, we're already at 20,000 subscribers. So we really appreciate that. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet and you're watching this video or any other video that we post, please subscribe. It really helps us. Give it a thumbs up as well. And if you want to support the channel, and you're buying things constantly, maybe from Tennis Warehouse or Amazon, if you use our links below, we get a little bit of a commission and no cost to you. It just helps us um, make a little bit of money, keep putting out content for you guys. So really appreciate that. Let's learn how to properly move on a tennis court. All right, so footwork. Let's first watch a little bit of this rally. Okay, so I want you to pay attention. Look for certain things already. But man, pay attention to how you know how it flows well. It's always kind of the same amount of steps. Hit one, two, split step. Hit one, two, split step. Hit one, two, split step. There's always there's a rhythm, a flow to it that I think a lot of amateurs struggle with. Now, if we slow it down, back up. Let's back up all the way to the beginning. Put it a little bit slower. You see that the first thing I want you to notice is that here. When he finishes his split step, look how wide his base is. So I think a lot of amateurs tend to not have this wide base. And their center of gravity is a little bit too high. They play a little bit too high. It's not really a problem when you're recovering from shots, but after the split step, you want to be sort of in this like Y shape here. You see, this Y shape really important. You're really going to have your legs engaged. Uh, your core is engaged, everything is engaged from this athletic position. And from there, it's very easy to move away from the ball to the ball um, anywhere you need to go. So you see, as the rally goes on, his base gets wider and wider. See here, if we go back just a little bit, how wide it is here is getting wider and wider. So that's very important have a, this nice wide base. Now the next thing I want you to guys to, to pay attention is his split step. The split step is really important. See, let's watch, let's watch here in slow motion. Look at that nice hop. You see like that it is a, it is a good jump. You see, obviously he hit a very hard ball right before that. He really unloaded. If you pay attention to it, he really unloaded on that forehand, see? Ooh, this is nice, let's watch it again. He really unloaded, and that ball traveled really fast to the other side. So he had to time his split step a little bit quicker because I was going to make contact quicker. So he had to make that split step, the little jump here, be ready for me to make contact with the ball. So he's ready for the next, for the next shot. So that's another thing, the harder you hit the ball, 
the, the quicker uh, the, your opponent is going to be making contact with the ball. So you actually need to split step and time your split step better um, and earlier than what it would be to with like a slice, for example, or, or, like, or a more like rolling shot, a little more top spin ball that would take more time to fly to the other side. So the split step and then landing into that wide base, it's where you want to what do you want to see? You see how his base is getting wider and wider. And this is fantastic footwork. It's textbook footwork that you can copy. Let's keep watching here in slow motion. Boom. Next thing I want you to pay attention, split steps. Now he moves to the ball. So I want you to pay attention to now. He makes the split steps, moves to the ball. And you see here very slowly how he is locked. His feet are on the ground, he's going to be pushing the ground in order to use his body to hit the ball as well. So you like loaded the legs and then accelerated through it. And that's also very important, I think. Um, a lot of amateurs play too often with their base, base moving, their feet are still moving too much, and then their legs aren't engaged, their core isn't engaged, their glutes are engaged. Um, and you end up just hitting with your arms and, and it's not easy to just use your arms to hit. And from this shot here, you see that he's a little bit further away from the middle, right? Um, so he will have to move back to the middle really quickly and boom, split step, time it perfectly. Look how loaded he is there. Feet are on the ground. He's going to push towards the ball. The body is going to be t pushing towards the ball. Um, and he's going to be able to generate a lot more, more power here. He went for a little more top spin. Let you see, get get away, boom. Okay, so split step, turn, unit turn, make contact. I missed there, but split step, good turn, gauge the distance, and then just go at it. And a lot of the times, like you just don't have the time to do too much. You're just gonna have to split step, and you're gonna have one or two steps, and you're gonna have to set your feet and then go at it. And Marcos has just such good footwork here that a lot of you um, can learn from it. So really three things um, that I want you to pay attention to. First, how properly he's timing his split steps um, from the beginning here. Always timing the split steps nicely. And then, you know, low center of gravity moving to the ball with like a lower center of gravity and then loading and exploding, loading and exploding. And then quickly back to the middle, but always adjusting uh, to the speed of his ball. Sometimes he gets to chill a little bit more because he lifts the ball, has a little more time to actually chill. But if he really goes fast uh, with his decision to maybe go a little bit bigger, he's also going to have to split step a little, a little quicker as well. So it breaks his rhythm a little bit as well, something that he's obviously used to. But just overall, great, great um, footwork from Marcos here. And I can't preach enough how important timing those split steps are, playing with a low center of gravity um, after the split step. And loading those legs, you see how well he loads the legs and then really pushes. Let's watch that again loads the leg really loads that that right leg right here see how loaded it is and then from that point on just pushing the ground it's really important for you guys to push the ground don't necessarily here he had to jump up a little bit because the ball was high but he still tried to go forward you see how the the hips really rotate all the way around you see that right hip rotating all the way around um, but that's because he, he was able to push the ground from that nice load that he had before. So again, Marcos has a textbook uh, footwork that I think a lot of you guys can learn from. And we'll break it down more uh, within time. But here are three things that you really, really need to do uh, in order to improve your footwork. So that's it for this video sort of a short format today, but I, I'm a big believer that we, can, we should be trying to emulate and copy what players are doing. You have, you've got to obviously find the one that suits more of your game style, um, but there's a lot that can be learned 
from watching top players and sometimes we just you know amateurs play amateur players don't really know what to look for so that's why um, I, I had this idea about here I'm going to show you some of the things that you can copy from Marcus's footwork and maybe this is something that I can do uh, for you know top players or in the future make it make it a little bit of a series uh, so let us know in the comments below if you would want to see that uh, you can do you know different breakdowns for different strokes or footwork whatever for different players so let us know if you want to see that and like I talked about it during the breakdown a few things that you always got to look for for good footwork a good wide base just to start from a ready position wide base is really important lower center of gravity uh, timing your split steps well uh, making sure uh, it's not too late not too early so you're able to like push yourself um, after the split step and be quick to the ball solid base once you get to the ball not hitting while your feet are still moving get to the ball stop load up and hit that's really important uh, in order for you to make better contact with the ball send the ball deeper and even hitting the ball harder when you need to and then obviously recovering back to the middle you know with that cross step making sure you're coming back um, obviously not all the way to the middle uh, as much as you can until you have to do your your next split step so it's a, again it's a little chain of events but with time um, footwork becomes easier and easier and more subconscious but at first you've got to think about it um, until you don't have to think about it anymore thanks for watching we got a bunch of cool things coming up so make sure you're, su you're subscribed to the channel visit my tennis issue.com got a lot of articles there for you guys uh, that are curious about tennis follow us on social media at my tennis hq and at my tennis hq yeah, it's at my tennis HQ on TikTok as well. <laughs> and use our affiliate links down below and buy some merch. We also have a merch store. I forgot to talk about that earlier. Uh, so we got a, the merch store link down below as well. If you want to get a hoodie or a hat, uh, it supports the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.